Still. Inventivity. <laughs> no, but he, he actually, he bridges. actually does. He does. I know. He's no, been on BBC. Properly. Busting properly because me and him don't know. Are we put him on the screen? He's or been on properly. BBC. He's been on BBC. He's um, done training. If you no, do mentivity, you'll no, see. If you know him. Them oh, stuff, oh, if he does all of them stuff, then he's yeah. been. Um, he's but been upskilling. He's been upskilling. Um, the Met. He's been doing loads of loads of work, mentivity, and he's just opened up a center in Woolworth Road. Um, yeah, where the old up. Aylesbury estate is and they're working in partnership with TikTok and stuff, giving the kids actual tangible things that they can do What's to his change. App? What's his app? Um, Mentivity and Safe Homes Lewis. Yeah, I think I pronounced it properly. But yeah, properly. All, the, all them men there, they need their little um, big ups. Like I was saying, Farron. Did you find them? Farron, um, yeah. Respect. Yeah. Safe. Um, yeah. Freddy Krueger's doing work as well. Krueger. Um, um, crazy. 20, Craze 24. Yeah, Craze um, Fecky's all, doing stuff on a different side as well. So there's loads of things that are going on. So there's a place for everything. There's a place for marching. There's a place for actors, um, um, for um, people that are making Have tangible you, change. There's a watch? place for work. No, I don't. That's what I'm I thinking. don't. Do you? At one time, there was one uh, outside the, the police station. Um, I went outside when they started walking. I went back inside. The riots. Nah, it was after the riots. That's the that's the one time. It was uh nah, you know allegedly. what it was for? It's for the um the the one they made the it was it was that's for the one time. But that's still. what I'm saying. I'm there. It was during the times. If things is happening. I'm there about. You get what I'm saying? Allegedly. But you know what we kind of do need, like a response team. Big up, oh, big up. Oh, you know, when you go to Stamford Hill, you got the Jewish police. Yeah, mm. black community should have their own police, and, and we should pay our tax. Mm. Yeah. We should like we our pay. own police will get nicked. You know, black people, our own police will get nicked. <laughs> I think you know, you're setting the bar you know, too. Like, you're setting the bar too low for our people. I oh think you're God, setting man. the bar too low but for our people. But if we people, have that like, communities to start off with, yeah. community police, yeah. And but say for instance now, like part of your wages, mm. you know, like you pay for your council tax, mm. yeah. At every month, a little change yeah. comes out. It pays for a patrol car in the area. You mm. get me? And blood. these people Man, come round. But them, blood. You think it, 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 at first, that, no, but bro, at black, first, hey, blood, at first, at first, but then there's going to be people you know, like, that bro. Think black, like, and kind, you're not even feds, and you think you can try and chat to these youths but and all that. Nah, right, cool. But look at the, the get, Jewish community got their own police. Shut out your clothes. I and mean, you're not gonna so get right, you're not gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get ex road. All right, cool. Look at Farron yeah, and. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what R Raspek is or whatever, but I see that them man go Sibia, out. Chris Sibia, and it. Chris, they go out mm. to places <laughs> like or the schools when some s stuff mm. happens, yeah? Say they had patrol cars. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, they got nunchucks. I don't know what they got. Nah. You get me? Got, so if, if, you can't have a firearm, but say you can, you know, you can take on guys. Yeah, you get they, me? they do Wife a lot of coaching. Course. They, like, yeah, forever yeah. family do hey, a lot of coaching. <laughs> Yeah. Where's my cards at the moment? Forever family do a lot of um coaching and like martial arts and self defense and stuff like that as well. Um, that too, you teach you, that too, but that, that's but more for like to prevent prevention from uh martial arts and all. I think <laughs> teaching the youths that from early is good because it's it because we got tears them from wanting to pick up a blade probably yeah. maybe because they can. Like obviously we've spoken about Chris nah, Carver. But they know other youths have got blades. That's why I think that's why yeah, a lot yeah. of them even carry, because they know that the next one's got it. Mm. We need to put them in the right places. Yeah. Mm. See, there's funding, and you know, there's funding in nearly every council. Um, there's you know funding. You can't hear you like all the way there. Sometimes. There's funding in nearly that's every council. Awesome. Um. No the issue is some people there, take the funding and they abuse it. And so the funding pot gets smaller. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know. skim. They always skim money off the top, innit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, some people say, oh, I'm doing this for the community. And then you don't see anything tangible yeah, changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do one little incentive and then that's it. Like, we need one to... One little cookout, buy two chicken and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like where's that, the other 50 sure. odd thousand pound gone that you got to, to uh, better the communities? And we got to remember our communities are not just our people. Well, like, right, our communities right. are lower so social economic um, communities. So you've got a mix, a melting pot of um, cultures in our communities. Like it's not just a black community. Everyone's there because it's a lower social economic area. Um, so we just generally need to come together as a people. Didn't that kind of messed us up, you know? Talk to me. I think just mixing us with any, any of people, man. You got white areas, you know, you got Asian areas. But the black people, you got to share your shit. <laughs> no, so, 
if you go back to what you said before, like our people are where they are. <laughs> Remember you was talking about. <laughs> but all right, but I'm saying over here though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Asians got their own spot. Mm. Certain parts of London is just straight. Certain parts of Birmingham is just straight. So do you want to go hist? Like do you want to go back into history? So like for for example, loads of our people came to like South London, Brixton, um, predominantly, not and in, most not of the Hill. not in Hill. Yeah, and we and never bought nothing. No, we did. Ah. We bought. We bought, like, I know a lot of my great great grandparents' friends, they owned like all of Brixton Market, basically. Allegedly. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Brixton Market, um, they, they, they went over to Peckham. They owned Brixton. a lot of those houses that you see down Frontline, um, Electric Avenue, going up to the Asians. Brixton, oh, yeah. right? They sold it to they, the Asians. Anyway, yeah, no, they owned a the lot. Asians got it now, so did they they owned the a lot. What happened is, what they did was, instead of like, you know, um, passing it on they sold it to or whatever, the they've sold it on to people oh. or they've retired back home. So now where we had such a stronghold, now we don't have a stronghold in a lot of these communities because we sold them on. Um, and at times we've got priced out of those communities. Or if we were in council properties, they said to us, oh, you know what? give me your house, I'll give you 10,000 pound per room or whatever, and we'll move you up to Crawley or we'll move you up to Croydon and we'll move you wherever it is. And we've created quite a culture in these areas that we are. Yeah, so yeah, Notting yeah. Hill's a very cultural per place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll never think that it was predominantly black people <laughs> that was living there. Yeah. And the same with Brixton, like there's been like a gentrification in these areas and we've moved on and we sold out. And so now we don't, not we, not everyone, but a lot of us don't have anything again because mm -hmm. they've either sold up and gone to other areas that cost less money and they were probably building those areas up now or they've mm. gone back home she's you know she's good for her is what she's good for stats yeah um, yeah, just, yeah yeah it's fact the, like my my, my great grandma I mean? she had a house in Notting Hill mm. and she had she bought a house in South London in Battersea okay. as well um my, my on my dad's side they had yeah. houses um in Brixton so this is I know it to be fact mm. um even growing up um when I was growing up, when I used to go to the market, it was black people that were in the markets. That was the butchers, Dennis the butchers and for? stuff. Because my dad's mom, my grandma just passed away. Not even just, probably about a rest year in, or two. Rest in peace rest to in your peace. grandma. Um, and uh, she got a big house in Birmingham. Mm. And uh, I don't know, it was five bed big. But they're looking to just shut it, sell it. Mm. I think if you keep that, you know what I mean? Mm. And then we all kept it, kept it, kept it, kept it, kept mm. it. That's just gonna grow. You're mm. gonna grow. you're gonna have long money. Do you know mm. what it is with them things? Yeah. Do you know what it is? I was gonna with get them to things? that. Go on. You, I'm there with it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like you got siblings, mm. and everyone wants something else. Someone, some people just want the money in it. It's because that same thing happened with with my mum, innit? Mm. Like some want to sell the yard yeah. in mm. Dominica, but man's just not having it. Innit? Yeah. But I'm saying like it gets like that. Some people they're thinking why I don't go there. Mm. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel like, mm. why don't I just take a little out of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? The, and there's two parts to that as People well. People like us, we're not thinking, oh yeah, man, like I don't care. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm trying to make my own money in life, mm. my own shit. Mm. But there's actually mental siblings was thinking it's sensible to just want money yeah, off their yeah, mum's yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and there's two folds to that. So because we're not always fin financially literate, um, we've bought houses and we think yeah, we can just pass the house on. But if the house is worth more than 325,000, anything after that is at, they need 40%, the tax man needs 40%. Mm -hmm.